All right, they're gone. God damn, that closet was cramped. Oh, what was that all about, anyways? Part of my medical bills. I have to help promote the hospital. Oh, okay. I, wait. Wait, 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 wait. If this is BMS Memorial, why is he alive and walking over there? Well, not walking, but floating? Like, what? Explain. It has something to do with how he's technically a head in a jar, and not really a body. Just like Nixon! Uh, anyway, you were going to tell me about the accident, right? In a bit. Right now I need to watch the news. They're airing an exclusive interview with the president of Finland. What, is Ranche going to be the president or something? President Ranche, word is that your top scientist recently discovered the meaning of life. Care to sum up the findings? Certainly. Now, what we found was that if you fuse- We interrupt this program for a breaking news story. Ah, <sighs> typical. A full-scale prison break has occurred at Black Moon State Penitentiary. Fifteen prisoners are confirmed to have escaped, including recent high-profile inmate Archibald Bartleby Carstesius III. Mr. Carstesius, more commonly known by his alias the Duke of Kanganickles, is considered armed and extremely dangerous. And now, back to our program. Thought-provoking. Care to tell us about the booming Finnish economy? It all started when we found how to synthesize diamonds by using dye. Oh god, this is a disaster. Wait. Wait. The fucking Duke? He's a criminal? What the- It's much worse than that, Oz. He's out to kill me. He's the one who did this to my voice, to try and silence me for good. Of all the goddamn... Jesus Christ! My past self, Oz, you need to warn him. If the Duke were to harm, or even kill me while I'm LPing that game, we'd have a time paradox that would destroy all of creation. I'm really starting to hate time travel right now. Okay, whatever. Do you know the number to the place that, uh, you are at? I guess? I'll write it down for you here. Hurry, Oz. There's no time to waste. Right then. I'm off. Uh, good luck with your recovery, Fresno. Boy, that Hitazi sure is in a hurry. Anyway, Frizzy, time for your medicine. Sure thing, Kaboyi. Say, uh... Hey guys, Freezing Inferno here, back once again with more Super Back to the Future 2. And I've got another wonderful guest with me. A very loud one. Ah. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's Demonia, and we're gonna flip around and jump on these guys with knives. Ooh, uh, I bet you'd love to jump on some of those knives. Can we take it all? I don't know. You're a mind Ooh, breaker as ever. Ooh, that reminds me. I have to go through this list of things to see how far back that future past, future future, past, present, future self is. I... You've just destroyed all concept of my four-dimensional thinking. What? Did, did Sam go through all that for you? I had a shred left. That shred has been shredded. Oh, well... Uh, Apparently, I'm already over schedule. Oh dear. Okay, let's go through this list. Dick Bat, yes? Dick Bat, we remember Dick Bat. Stockings. Stockings, of course. Which means he got ice cream, black licorice. Black licorice was very recently. Chicken. No, no, chicken doesn't do anything for me. Skateboards. Uh, hoverboards, you mean? Well... Apparently now it's gonna bleed out of that. Apparently we just caused paradox. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, spaghettios. Also fans and spikes and that. Just tanking through with your invincibility. Cause that's the way you do it. Ass has done. Oh yeah. Also we're Ooh, pretty much done this something. level. Yeah. Already halfway through. Hey! Now for the boss fight, huh? Oh yes, you, you're perceptive. The boss fight against... Well, you see, because this is the future with the past, I already know what happened because you went to the past and the future self, and... Yeah. Uh, yeah. 
Anyway, this is future Biff, and he's all like, Yeah, I gave this sports almanac to my past self in 1955. And now that you know that, you have to die. Oh yeah, people love doing that. All the villains like going from the future, grabbing some technology or some information, going to the past, getting stocks. I haven't done the same thing. Yeah, I'm surprised people haven't. Anyway, this fight is easy as hell. You've got these switches that make electric currents, and you basically want to go to the bottom ones and just shoot them, and they just shock the hell out of them. Oh yeah, it seems like they go as hard as possible with you on actual levels, and then go easy on the bosses. Kind of like Luke. Kind of like it, yeah. It's Except more fun sometimes, and less tasty. Yeah. I mean, he's dead. Already. We're, we're, we're efficient like that and shocking the alternate Biff. And thank God we're done this alternate 1985 level stuff. Because Doc is in the DeLorean and we're all like, Hey, we gotta go back to 1955. Oh, cool. Hop in. And that's it for the alternate 1985. And now the final section of the game, the last two acts, are set in 1955. Gas. Old tiny times. Look at this. Yeah. The music's so cheery and lovely. That is. Anyway, that'll be all for this part. We'll tackle the uh, past in the future. And I've been future broken. Future past, past, future present. Exactly. Thanks, Simonian. Bye, everyone. Bye.